Hello, and welcome to this final video on upgrading Wonderware System Platform Components versions 2012 and 2012R2 to the latest version, which is 2014. This video will focus on validating and testing the finished upgrades. We'll do it in a series of steps. First, we'll redeploy the Galaxy, and then after redeploying, we'll verify functionality across the Galaxy. We're going to verify redundancy, data collection, data storage, and visualization, each one by their respective components. And optionally, we can take a backup of the Galaxy and export all objects at the end of the validation. Let's begin. As with the other videos, we'll be using VMware's ESXi Virtualization Host Server. We'll begin by going to the GR node and we'll open up a console. And once we're in our console, we'll open up the IDE. We'll connect to our Galaxy. And once we're in the IDE, take a look at the deployment window or the deployment view. We'll right click on our Galaxy name and start the deployment process. We'll do a cascade deploy and we'll select OK. And this will begin the process. Now, depending on the number of objects that you have in your galaxy and the speed of your system, this may take a while. Once the process is complete, we verify that there are no errors and then we can simply close this dialog box. Next, we can highlight one of the platforms, right click on it, and view and open up Object Viewer by coming down and selecting View and Object Viewer. Okay, once Object Viewer opens up, we can take advantage of the fact that it allows you to save watch windows and I saved a, a watch window previously that would allow me to see my system at a glance. And so I open up my watch windows that I previously saved and from here I can check on the redundancy status. I can see that both my systems, my primary and my standby system are online and my standby is standby ready. I can check the uh, see if I have communications coming into the galaxy I can check the status of my IO to make sure that I'm connected uh, to my uh, OPC servers in this case and I can see the status of certain uh, objects uh, within my galaxy itself so at this point I can see that uh, across the galaxy I am I am at least collecting data data is actively being uh, pulled into the galaxy so I can exit out of object viewer and at this point I can exit out of the IDE I'm gonna exit out of my this particular console and I'm gonna go next to my historian server I'll open up a console now within the historian I'll go straight to the system management console and I'm checking to make sure I have all of my modules online and I see some errors and warnings here but more than likely they're when I was uh, deploying and uh, redeploying the galaxy but 
here is where where I'm going to take a look and make sure that I have data coming into my historian so I see all of this information coming from my object servers and I have one engine coming from the galaxy itself I see clients are connected all greens and so at this point I can say that my historian is actively receiving data this is the uh, the number of values uh, that I have coming in or uh, as far as the number of tags the status is receiving and this is the number of values that are coming in I can exit out of the historian now next I'll check the information server I'll open up a console to check the, the information server I'll click on the home page I see that the interface comes up I'll go to active factory trend shows that I can connect to the historian I'll take a couple of trends I'll go live to make sure that I can see the data and it shows that I am receiving data and also please bear in mind I am running a simulation so now that tells me that the information server is online and functioning I'll log out and I can get out of the information server and I'll test uh, for demonstration I'll test one of my HMI servers I'll test it by opening up application manager I see a standalone application here. I'll open it up in Window Maker. Okay, convert it to my new screen resolution. And my InTouch application is running. Let's open up application manager again and you can see that the new version is version 11 and that is the 2014 release this is a managed application in order to verify that this managed application is, is functioning correctly at the correct level we'll go back to the GR node we'll open up our IDE again We'll take a look at our uh, one of our applications, or as far as in touch applications. We'll edit the template. It'll migrate it to the latest version. We've already had a backup. We'll go ahead and do the conversion.
okay and this is just my little test app so that I really don't have any graphics I'll check it in I'll deploy my applications out to my platforms the deployment was successful I'll go to one of my terminal servers that that's also my HMI node open up application manager I can see that my application has converted up to the latest version which is 11.0 right click on it and select window viewer and I can see that my application opened up again this is just a simple a simple uh, demo uh, application so this right here concludes this video on how to validate whether your upgrade was successful by verifying that you have data collection coming into your galaxy data storage going into your historian and also visualization by opening up the information server and verifying that the interface uh, comes online and also that you can connect to your historian and view trending information and also verifying that your application, your InTouch HMI application, correctly converts up to the current version of uh, InTouch, which is 11.0, that is a part of the System Platform 2014 release. Thank you for watching.